On the 18th of May 2009, a beautiful little girl named Rihanna was born. She did all the usual things that little girls do. She grew, she loved and fought with her older brother. She went to ballet classes and, of course, she went to school. And that was where I had the joy of meeting her and caring for her. She played, she asked questions. <laughs> oh boy, did she ask questions. She asked us questions in the way that only four-year-old children can. Why is that yellow? Who's that person? Why is your hair that colour? She was forever running places without looking first. I cannot tell you how many times that she ran into doors or got her fingers trapped, but every single time, after a few tears, she would get right back up and go back on playing. But on the 14th of February this year, a very sad thing happened. It was on that day that a small blood vessel in the middle of her brain developed a bleed. It just kept on dripping and her pressures kept on building. Later on, she was rushed into hospital. It was then that they rushed her to surgery to remove some of her skull in order to attempt to release some of the pressure that had been caused by the bleed. They tried their best in the surgery and they did everything that they could, I'm sure. But by the time that they discovered it, there was nothing they could do. The damage that had been caused by the bleed and the pressure that had built up in her brain was too much. After the surgery, she was put in the children's intensive care unit and was on life support. She was on life support for a week before it, the decision was made that she was too weak and her body wouldn't recover and the life support was turned off. However, she didn't die immediately as expected. She hung on and over the course of that, she was transferred to the charity that this video was about, Helen Bergel's house. She and her family remained there for up two months until she eventually passed away in April on Easter Monday. This event is incredibly sad and tragic, but over the course of this I got to see what an amazing place Helen Douglas House is. They did so much for her and her family and enabled her to have a peaceful death, a peaceful passing. In a funny way, Helen House is actually a very beautiful place. They designed it with children and teenagers in mind. As part of the palliative or their end-of-life care, they actually enable the families to stay with their child through the process. Um, the room that Rihanna was in, it was a very beautiful, spacey room, but connected to it was a double bedroom um, where her parents and her older brother could also stay. I went to go and visit her a week or so before she died to go and say my goodbyes. So I got to see the wonderful work that they do and all the nurses there were very lovely and kind and welcoming to me and my mum. I feel very privileged to have seen them in action. It was a very sad thing to witness, but I feel very good about the fact that I got to see them do their job. Helen Douglas House has been long been a charity that has had a lot of resonance with me as someone who has worked with children the majority of my adult life. It's important to me that I know that at whatever stage a child's at in their life or at the end of their life that they can receive proper care. Rihanna was one of the most beautiful children I have ever met and every time I go to that school I miss her. Knowing that she's never going to be back there, her parents are never going to see her again, she'll never be in another ballet show or another school nativity or come to the after school club again. That is one of the most hurtful things I have ever experienced. But I know that she was cared for properly right up until the end. I've obviously spoken about the end of life care and the palliative care because that's what I've seen, but another very important factor of Helen Douglas House is that they actually offer a respite care to families that have children with life limiting or life shortening conditions. And this respite care is actually very crucial and important to children that have life limiting conditions as it's often very stressful having that kind of life for the parents and the extended family as well. So it gives them a chance to have a rest and have a breather while still having the comfort of mind that their child's in the best professional care with people that know what they're doing and can accommodate for any instance. And that side of the home is actually, it's very joyful because they focus on the things that children can do and that they can achieve 
and they take them on outings and they do an awful lot to support the family. As well as this, they have a lot of extra support services like bereavement counselling. Um, and this focuses on the whole family, so the journey doesn't just end there. They, they have ongoing support for families after their child, child has died. This has been a sad and a serious video and for that I apologise but there was no way that I could make this a happy or a bright video even though she was a happy and a bright child as I said but this was something that I needed to have an impact. I needed people to know about this and that it is happening every single day. So please share this video and vote for it on Project for Awesome. Um, thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoy the rest of Project for Awesome. The FTVA. I still can't do the gang sign properly.